It is full throttle summer out there and it is hot eh? Ain't nobody wanna be in the kitchen cooking, I get it. But I still like to have something that's delicious, nutritious. I have a friend coming over for lunch and I said, you know what, let me turn the camera on and just record this. Did you guys know that on this channel we also do cooking? It's a lifestyle channel. We do all the things, cooking, thrifting, makeup, inspiration. Hi Sugar Cookies, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new around here, I'm Cookie, your lifestyle. And you're watching a beauty, fashion, and lifestyle channel. If you're interested in finding out how you can make a delicious shrimp salad, and if you don't eat shrimp, you can easily interchange this with another type of protein like chicken, or you can just simply make this salad with cannellini beans or a mixture of cannellini beans and garbanzo beans and black beans. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanna share with you what it is that I'm using. I'm using Great Value, which is Walmart's house brand. This is cooked shrimp. The bag says 2630 per pound, which means it's really like about 19 to 22 shrimps per bag. These are peeled and deveined. And this is a good value. Now, I recommend that when you buy frozen shrimp like this, especially from Walmart or any other place, that it has this kind of seal on it, which means that it is sustainable and good practices. This is what that looks like in the back. I promise you, sugar cookies, that you are going to love this. This is not only nutrient dense, but it is absolutely impressive easy to prepare with easy to find ingredients don't we love those things let me share with you how beautiful look at look at this all these items in here all these beautiful veggies are organic and even though they say organic i still like to rinse my stuff up wash your stuff people please i have grape tomatoes in there persian cucumbers some beautiful beautiful oh this basil is just, oh, look at how cute. I could put it in my hand. <laughs> and let's see what else do I have here. I have the Persian cucumbers. I have these beautiful mini bell peppers. And I have the great tomatoes. Let's see, am I missing? Oh, and of course, I have some green onions or scallions or Chinese onions, as some would say. I'm going to bring the camera down so that you can see the bounty that is before me. It's going to be so easy. And when you make this salad, comment below and let me know how it turned out, yeah? Okay. These are beautiful. And although these say that they are clean and deveined, I don't trust that. I like to <laughs> check the shrimps, I like to check the poop chute, and don't forget that there's also a digestive tract in the front, so that's nice and clean. I have my bowl here. I'm using salt-free garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash, and I have my Sazon blend seasoning here that I make, I have a video on that, and I'm actually going to be uploading an updated video on how I make my own Sazon blend that has no Red Lake 40 and none of that junk in it. It's just delicious, and you'll wanna check that out if you like Sazon seasoning and things like that. I have some extra virgin olive oil, white wine vinegar, oregano, salt and pepper in here, you see? Sarai. Sarai. Some mixed pitted olives. So pull it to the point. A lime. An avocado. I hope this avocado is good. A purple onion. I'm not going to use this huge hunk. I'm just going to use half of that. And you saw all the beautiful things in here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. All right, let's get to making this.
sugar cookies. This current mic that I'm using, it is so unpredictable. It was snap, crackle, and popping more than the flipping Rice Krispie cereal. In this clip, I'm just debating whether I should have kept the grape tomatoes whole or should I have sliced them? Because sometimes people don't like that pop in their mouth. Anywho, I decided to go whole because I wanted to make my life easier. I'm taking, what would you have done? Would you have left them whole or would you have diced them? Anywho, let me know. The basil, I'm shredding it by hand because using the, what the heck I was? I'm shredding the basil because this keeps the oxidation at bay and it makes the salad nice and pretty. I have a question for you. Did your mom raise you telling you that if you cut the ends of the cucumbers and then rub them that it will release the bitterness? I don't know if that really does make a difference or not. Comment below and let me know if you use this method, if you've tried it, if you've ever, if you've ever heard of that. Um, I'm just, I deceded the bell peppers, chopping them up. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the colors. Pretty food. It's just amazing to me. It's a feast for the eye. This is a fiesta in a bowl. This is summer in a bowl. <laughs> Another trick that I wanted to um, let you know about, if you take lime or any kind of citrus and you nuke it for about, or microwave it for about a good 10 seconds, it releases all the juices from it. If you could see on the board there, I don't know if you could see it or not, but it just released a lot of juice. Let's see what this avocado looks like because I do not have good luck. My video, the disrespect. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. This uh, cucumber, okay, not the cucumber. Does that look like a cucumber cookie? This avocado is from Colombia and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's good. Yay, looky, looky, I got a good avocado. I picked a good one, I picked a good one. Yay, I was so happy, really. I was really, really happy because I was having my friend come over and I didn't want to have, you know, to serve a salad that has, you know, brown avocado in it. It's not the look, mommy. <laughs> Anywho, so let me get to mixing this up and then I'm gonna add the shrimp and then we're gonna do the dressing and bada bing, bada boom. It's gonna be good and pretty and delicious. Here come the shrimp again, crawling from the ocean floor into this glass bowl. So won't you season me? Do I, do I, with some oregano? Do I? Oh my goodness, and here comes the thunderstorms. For real, for real. <laughs> Sunshine State of Florida. I realized that this bowl was a little too small, so I grabbed me a bigger bowl, so crisis averted. And I'm going to mix everything up and then I'm going to add it to that glass bowl you saw right there. So what I'm going to do is, now that I had that beautiful avocado, I am going to toss the salad ever so gently from the bottom to the top and from the side to the middle. This way I don't turn the avocado into mush and they stay in the squares as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Come on. Pretty food just really... It is a feast for the senses, for the eyes, all the things. So now I'm coming in with Mrs. Dash Garlic and Herb. None of the stuff that you're seeing here is sponsored. This is just what I'm using. This is salt free, so you can go ham with this, literally ham with this, as much as you like because it doesn't contain any salt and it is delicious. Okay, and then I am going to add some of my Sasson Home Blend seasoning as well. I'm going to add some black pepper, and I think I'm gonna be adding a glug, a nice glug of olive oil because this is a, ooh, chill, let me hurry up. This is a big salad, sugar cookies, the lights are flickering in my house. So here I'm coming in with my home blend seasoning. This does not have any Red Lake 40 in it, none of that stuff, it has a natto seed in it, um, it's called a, known as achote as well, and uh, all that does it just gives a nice color. Don't put too much of that in it because it can be bitter. I'm going in with a nice glug of extra virgin olive oil. Can you hear the rain in the background? I love the sound of the rain. The thunder, uh, not so much, but the rain, I'm okay with it. So I'm going to give this a good glug. Okay, a good glug of olive oil because there's a lot of salad. I'm using the white wine vinegar because it's milder. It doesn't uh, overpower the salad and make it too sour the way 
apple cider vinegar and other kinds of vinegars can do, especially with seafood. You want to keep it nice and mild. And let all the other ingredients just shine through and not get drowned in sourness. And let's see, let's see, what else am I going to do? Oh, I think I'm going to add some black pepper as well. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to see this. And of course, you know, I'm going to give it a little tasty, tasty. I think that I did that off camera though. Don't judge me. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my goodness, look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Make this this summer, make it all year long. Make it for special occasions, make it whenever you want to. But sugar cookies, please try this and let me know how you like it. Oh my goodness, isn't this beautiful? This is summer in a bowl right here, if I say so myself. Mm -mm -mm. Sugar cookies, another little tip that I wanna give you is when you're done with your citrus, don't throw it out, chop it up and throw it down your garbage disposal with a little ice as well. The ice will sharpen the blade and the citrus will just give you a nice refreshing and get rid of all the smells in there. I've been doing that for years. Do you know about that little trick? If you do, let me know. Or if you have other tricks that you wanna share with me and this community, you glean from me and I glean from you. If you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lippers, it's this lip liner right here. Again, not sponsored. This is by Italia Deluxe. I got this on Amazon. A bunch of them came in a package for like about $8. This is in the color 1066 wine. I hope you can see that. And what I did was I lined all of my lip with this. I spread it out a little bit. This is the pink. Oh, look, look, look. Oh my gosh, that's just gorgeous. This is Playing in Makeup by Yolando Pimby. This is one of the palettes that she sent me for free along with the big palette that I ordered from her. Then I topped it off with this uh, LA Girls Lumilicious Luminous Lip Gloss. Looks like that. I featured this before. I hope this makeup did not smear already because cutting up the onions, oh my gosh, I was crying and I already have watery eyes as it is. Anywho, this is the palette that I'm using for this eye look. Isn't it pretty? Oh, love playing in makeup. Absolutely love it. So the colors that I use, I use this on my, no, I use this one on my eyelids and then on the outer V, I use this one and a little bit of this one mixed together and I lined the bottom of my eye as well. Purdies. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to sink my teeth into that salad. Mm -hmm. Make the sugar cookies, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And like I mentioned before, you can interchange it with different uh, proteins if shrimp is not your bag or you can just make it with a mix of beans, garbanzos, and cannellini beans, and all the other things, or green beans. Mm-hmm, I wonder how this would taste with tofu. I don't know, if you try it with tofu, let me know. If you like this kind of content, and you found some value in it, a chuckle, a laugh or two, smash that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join my lifestyle sauce. Psst, post your notification button, you know, the ding, 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 dong bell, and select all. Share the videos. Why? Because this way the algorithm sees it, says she's there. Donate me a thumbs up. That also helps the channel grow because the algorithm notices that there's engagement, people are liking the content, all the things, and I can bring you more quality video. I make two to three videos a week. You won't want to miss. I do all kinds of things over here. And as I say around here, be blessed, not too stressed, and I'll see you in the next lifestyle moment. I gotta go. <laughs>